Hey guys, this is like, this is the afternoon, so good afternoon guys, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about my lovely hair today. I love my hair, I love this wig, can you guys believe that it is a synthetic wig? This is a synthetic and I'm going to talk to you guys about my synthetic wig. Okay? Cool. I purchased this hair from my local beauty supply store. She didn't have like a name per se, like she didn't have like a specific name. She just, this is what it is. It's lace front wig, natural yaki series. So this is the style natural yaki and 18 inch, the L parting space. So basically the part comes from here all the way back, like into an L shape. This hair says heat resistant fiber, safe up to 400 and 400 degrees. My flat iron is set to 450. So when I tried to flat iron this hair, I didn't know. Great job, great job. So I have this hair in the color DR30, and it's just amazing, guys. This is this is amazing. This is one of our best lace front wigs. I have purchased. I'll be doing this is actually a right part wig. Yeah, this is actually a right part wig. But I don't really I don't I don't I personally don't like it in the right part. I'm not I mean when I'm wearing my weave I always do middle. I don't normally do the side. But I'll oops. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Like this. Just in case anybody likes middle parts like me. I love it in the middle. I do. You know, regular pull here to the back. It's like layered in some type of way. When I first got the wig, it did not look like this. This wig is two weeks old. When I first got the wig, the way it was curled, it went like that. So when it curled, it was like, I didn't like it. I didn't like it that way. It just looked, it looked too crazy for me that way. I really, really did not like it that way. Um, so did I pluck this part a little bit? I plucked this part just a little bit. But I used both methods, pluck and the pull hair method. And the hair just seemed like it didn't want to be plucked. Meaning like, I felt myself plucking the hair and getting the hair out, even with me, you know, ripping it. But I'm like, you know, I might want to do that. So, for me to get the part how I did, I took some of my brown eyeshadow that I have. I took on my brown eyeshadow, the lightest one, and I kind of just put it there. Plus, I have a light concealer yeah so i put the you know the, the powder the, the eyeshadow powder at first and then i put this light concealer that i have to go on the part and that's pretty much it so i want to sh i'll show you guys it on the side i'm in my bathroom clearly right I don't need a new neck under my head. 
lost it. I have to find it. It's not that it's ugly on the right side. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of parts being on my right. But here's the thing, when you do part it the way it's supposed to be parted, the air space feels better because when I part it in the middle, the air, the air part that's right here bothers me just a little bit, not too much. Or whatever. like in my wig so for, it, for me to have a wig and it's to the side it just feels with it um the cap construction it has an adjustable strap in the back and it has two combs one comb here and another comb right here yeah so one comb here and one comb here so I believe it has a comb in the back too. Yes, it does. It does have a comb in the back. Yep, actually, it does have a comb in the back. Uh, shedding. I haven't really experienced any like dramatic shedding, like or head or hair shed. Or hair shed, so I haven't experienced any like crazy, you know, shedding when it comes to this hair. Really? So that's about it. This is 18 inches. I got it from my local beauty supply store. This hair was this hair was 30. Two, I want to say thirty two to thirty five dollars. I want to say that I I forgot. I want to say it's like thirty two to thirty five dollars. Let me turn around. Okay, so I hope you guys love my hair. I will be doing a whole new tutorial soon. Bye guys.